archaeological finds that many people don't even know about, an ancient mask that women should not look at, a mysterious structure at the bottom of the Black Sea, amazing discoveries in France, a mysterious alphabet of a lost civilization, and nightly chess. Watch this video to the end, you will definitely like it. Hi friend, you're on the Kurtop channel. Alphabet of a Lost Civilization Spanish archaeologists from the University of Barcelona discovered tablets with drawings of the Tartessian civilization of the Bronze Age. The excavations took place at Casas del Terranuelo, in the southwest of the Iberian Peninsula, as reported by Spain's Supreme Council for Scientific Research. Tardesis was an amazing, was an ancient civilization that flourished on the Iberian Peninsula in the 8th century BC, known for its sophisticated writing. By the 4th century BC, the Tartessians disappeared appeared. The found tablet, dating back to the 6th-5th centuries BC, contains 21 symbols of Paleo-Spanish writing and a scene of a battle between three warriors. This find will help scientists learn more about the culture, clothing, and weapons of the Tartessians. The study of such artifacts opens up new perspectives in understanding this mysterious civilization and its disappearance. Women are not allowed to see this mask. Oxford University's Pitt Rivers Museum has removed from display a wooden mask made by the Igbo people of Nigeria. According to the beliefs of this people, the mask is forbidden to be seen by women, and only men are allowed to use it during ceremonies and rituals. The museum posted a cultural safety warning sign and removed the image of the mask from its website. The Igbo mask has deep cultural significance, symbolizing spiritual strength and protecting the tribe's traditions. It was used exclusively by men, which emphasizes its importance in religious and social rituals. Art critic Ruth Millington noted that denying all women access to an artifact because of one culture's taboo is an extreme measure. She believes that women should have the right to decide for themselves whether they want to see a mask, familiarizing themselves with its cultural characteristics. The oldest liquid wine Spanish scientists have discovered a glass urn containing cremated remains and a liquid that turns out to be the oldest known wine in an ancient Roman underground mausoleum in Carmona. The age of the find is about 2,000 years. Carmona, located in Andalusia, was a major city in the Roman province of Baetica in the 1st century AD. The city preserves the ruins of an amphitheater and necropolis where archaeological discoveries are still ongoing. In 2019, archaeologists found the entrance to an underground tomb believed to have belonged to a wealthy family. Inside, they found eight urn niches, six of which contain cremated remains. One of the glass urns also contained a gold ring with an image of Janus and a red liquid. Chemical analysis confirmed that this is wine that has changed color due to chemical processes over 2,000 years. The use of wine in Roman funeral rituals is well documented. Wine was added to the urn after cremated remains were placed to aid the deceased in the afterlife. This find is an important evidence of Roman customs and confirmation of the longevity of their traditions. Previously, other interesting artifacts were found in the mausoleum, such as an ancient Roman inventarium with the remains of a perfume made from patchouli essential oil. Grave of the Short Horses French archaeologists discovered nine large graves containing the remains of 28 six-year-old stallions buried on their right sides with their hats to the south, and two dogs with their hats to the west. These finds radiocarbon dated date back to the end of the Roman conquest of Gaul and the beginning of the Roman Empire between the 1st century BC and 1st century AD. Experts are considering theories that the animals could have been buried after being killed in battle or as part of elaborate ritual. The possibility of death from disease is unlikely since only adult males were found in the graves. The remains are checked for parasites. The graves were found in Ville du Sur Indra in central France, where the foundations of ancient buildings, ditches, and the medieval road have previously been discovered. The first grave contained ten complete horse skeletons, neatly arranged in two rows. A similar burial was found in 2002 in the Puy de Dome, containing the remains of eight warriors and their horses. Ancient Structure in the Black Sea 
Off the coast of Abkhazia, scientists as part of an international underwater archaeological expedition discovered important archaeological finds. Using special equipment and divers, they explored depths from 1 to 60 meters in the waters of the cities of Kudauta and Sukhum. The most significant find was the discovery of the remains of a medieval structure in Sukhumi Bay, at the mouth of the Besletka River, where the ancient city of Dioscoria was supposedly located. In this area, where an ancient stele had previously been found, Archaeologists discovered semicircular masonry, probably a tower with attached walls. It is made of large pebbles with lime mortar. The masonry contains ceramics. Due to the large amount of sand and silt in the water, it was difficult to photograph the object, so a detailed survey of it is planned 2024-2025. In the waters of the city of Gyudauta, archaeologists found many vessels from the ancient and medieval periods, including an amphora at a depth of 48-50 meters. Oldest Human Tooth Scientists have announced a sensational discovery in Germany. Ancient dental fossils, estimated to be almost 10 million years old, that they say do not fit into the established chronology of human history. What's truly shocking is that one of these fossils resembles the teeth of man's earliest ancestors. However, until now such teeth have only been found in Africa, not Europe, and even the existing range of fossils is millions of years younger. Found in September 2016 near the German city of Appleshaw, Time, two well-preserved teeth date back to approximately 9.7 million years ago. One of the teeth, an upper right for a smaller, is similar in characteristics to other specimens found in the area. But the other tooth, the upper left canine, is different, and the researchers say its outline and shape are similar to those of hominine species, including Australopithecus afarensis. The problem is that Lucy is estimated to be only 3 million years old, and it is believed that humanity's earliest ancestors began their migration from Africa to Europe in Asia approximately 100,000 years ago. So the question is, who did these teeth belong to, which were in the wrong place and at the wrong time, and how did they get there? Remains of a Mammoth in Kyrgyzstan on June 2nd, a tusk and fragments of the lower jaw of a mammoth were discovered in the floodplain of the Jurgalan River in the Issyk Kul region of Kyrgyzstan. Archaeologists who arrived at the request of the Ministry of Culture found that the fragments were located at a depth of 3-5 meters and at a distance of 140-150 meters from each other. Due to the poor state of preservation of the bones, archaeologists took extra care to ensure their preservation, as bones deteriorate quickly when exposed to sunlight. Specialists were able to extract only part of the skull, which was cleaned and preserved on site. The discovery of remains in two different locations in the same quarry indicates that the area is promising for future finds. Officials called on citizens to ensure the safety of historical and cultural heritage sites and report findings to archaeologists. Guillotine of Caravaggio Sanctuary the guillotine was proposed as a humane method of execution by Dr. Joseph Guillotine in 1791. He believed that it would provide a quick and painless decapitation, unlike other methods that could cause long and painful agony due to the lack of skill of the executioner. However, long before the French Revolution, this device was already used in other countries. In Ireland and Scotland, the guillotine was called the Scottish Maid, in France, the Furniture of Justice, and in Italy, it was known as the Mandala. In one of the cellars in Italy in the sanctuary of Santa Maria del Fonte in the village of Caravaggio, there is a guillotine that predates the French Revolution by more than two centuries. The sanctuary of Santa Maria del Fonte is famous for the legend of the appearance of Saint Mary to the shepherdess on May 26, 1432. Under this monumental structure, there is a corridor divided into five sections. One of them contains a primitive guillotine associated with the legend of the miracle. In 1520, a robber sentenced to death repented and asked Mary for for forgiveness, it is said that the guillotine refused to behead him, sparing his life. This is one of the miracles associated with Saint Mary. The guillotine in the sanctuary is different from the French one, it is small and primitive. The blade was secured under a heavy log, which was released and slid along the guides, decapitating the condemned man. Ancient Roman Coins in Israel a recent discovery by archaeologists in Lod, central Israel, provides invaluable insight into the life of Jews in the ancient Roman era. 
During excavations, impressive stone and marble artifacts, inscriptions in Greek, Latin and Hebrew, and a treasure of 94 coins were found among the ruins of the building. These finds, especially the absence of pig bones among the animal remains, indicate the building's connection to the Jewish community. Experts date the find at the time of the Jewish uprising against Constantius Gallus in 351-354 AD. Historians claim that the treasure was hidden during the uprising. Written evidence of these events is scanty, but it is known that large Jewish communities such as Lod, Zippor and Tiberias were destroyed by Roman troops. Two excavation experts, Shahar Crispin and Mor Weasel, noted that the building likely served as a home for the city's elders. It was destroyed to the very foundation, which demonstrates the strength and brutality of the suppression of the uprising. According to experts, this is the only evidence of the scale of the uprising in Lod. This site was the most important Jewish center after the destruction of the Second Temple in Jerusalem. The building destroyed to the foundation confirms the significance of the uprising and its suppression. The findings prove that Lod is one of the oldest oldest cities in the world, with a rich Jewish heritage from the Tanaitic period, where the authors of the Mishnah lived. It is still difficult to determine the exact purpose of the building – a synagogue, an educational institution, or a meeting place for elders. However, the size of the building, treasure, and other finds correspond to the description of Lot in Jewish and non-Jewish sources, where it appears as a center of Jewish life in the era of the Mishnah and Talmud. Tiny Alien just two months after scientists in Peru exposed a hoax claiming two dolls were actually alien buddies, alien stories are resurfacing online. This time, a premature human fetus with an elongated skull found in Colombia is being linked to little green men and ancient races. However, skeptical scientists prove that the skeleton belonged to an unborn human fetus. The main reason why many people believe such absurd headlines about aliens is because some of the world's major media outlets publish high dramatic articles present logical fallacies. Adequate scientists and anyone who read an anatomy textbook in school can definitely say that the remains belong to a stillborn human fetus. The so-called alien has an elongated skull which combined with its unusual eyes and ten ribs on each side of the body as opposed to the typical twelve in humans has led to claims of extraterrestrial origin. As it turns out, the reporter who broke the story in the Daily Mail received the first images of the alien anonymously via WhatsApp. That's all the archaeological discoveries. While some speculate about an ancient tiny race of people that coexisted with Aymara people of the Andes hundreds if not thousands of years ago, research by anatomists from the University of Stockholm in Sweden and Stony Brook Medical School in the US suggests that the skeleton belongs to the fetus of a premature human baby. George Washington Can Fruit Archaeologists have found convincing evidence of the love of the first U.S. President George Washington for canned fruits and berries, especially cherries. This unexpected discovery was made while exploring Washington's country estate. In underground storage facilities, archaeologists found 35 glass jars with canned fruit, of which 29 were completely intact. Even whole pieces of fruit were preserved in the bottles. Experts determined that 12 containers were filled with canned cherries, and the rest were probably filled with gooseberries and currants. Surprisingly, some fruits can even be edible up to 250 years. This discovery is very impressive. Historical records document George Washington and his wife Martha's love of canned fruit, especially brandy-infused cherries. Martha Washington's Cherry Bounce cocktail recipe was also found. Archaeologists believe that the Washington servants and slaves were engaged in canning fruit. They possessed real skill, thanks to which the fruits have been preserved to this day. The cherry pits found will also be tested, and perhaps they will be used to grow trees that grew during Washington's lifetime. Ancient Treasure Ship the team of the Expedition Research Project discovered a sunken Finnish ship from the late 19th early 20th centuries at the bottom of Lake Ladoga at a depth of 34 meters. The ship sank probably due to an explosion inside, which destroyed the wheelhouse. A binnacle, telegraph, and steering wheel were found on the deck. Ceramic cups with pearls were found in the hold. The ship features a Leviathan symbol on both sides, which may indicate its pirate past. The finds also included a ship's bell, ceramic vessels, a porcelain wash basin, and bricks with the inscription Hoganas, made in Sweden. The discovered artifacts will be sent to the Underwater Heritage Center for further study. These finds may shed light on the history and purpose of this mysterious vessel, which is of great interest to scientists. Communion Set 
A research project by the National Archaeological Institute made a rare find near Lake Tissa, a silver communion set and a hoard of 70 silver coins. These artifacts were discovered at the site of the ruins of the Benedictine Abbey, discovered in 2023. The silver set, consisting of a bowl and wafer stand, dates from the 14th century and was probably part of a burial. In addition, a treasure of 70 silver coins dating from the 13th and 14th centuries was found by volunteers during excavations. These finds indicate the rich history of the region and its importance in the Middle Ages. The Archaeometric Laboratory continues work on the analysis and restoration of these valuable finds. Artifacts dating from prehistoric times to the present day will provide insight into the history of the region and its role in Hungarian history. 1,000-year-old collection of medieval games Archaeologists have discovered a collection of medieval gaming items in a forgotten castle in southern Germany. Among the finds are a well-preserved chess piece, game pieces and bones dating from the 11th-12th centuries. These items provide a unique insight into early gaming culture. Particularly significant is the found chess piece in the form of a knight, which dates back to the early period of the spread of chess in Europe. Laboratory tests showed that one of the sides played with red pieces. Traces of use on the figure indicate that the rules of the game have been preserved to this day. In the Middle Ages, chess was one of the seven skills that a good knight had to master. This explains why many chess piece finds come from castles. In addition to the chess piece, laurel game pieces and a six-dot dice carved from antlers were found. These artifacts found under the rubble of the wall allow scientists to gain a deeper understanding of the gaming culture of the medieval nobility. In the future, the researchers plan to conduct further analysis to learn more about the origins of European chess and the significance of the games in the lives of medieval knights. List of Roman Centurions Polish archaeologists have discovered unique papyri with lists of Roman centurions who served in Egypt in the ancient port of Berenice. These rare documents were found along with Italian pottery, Roman coins, and a special buckle in the ruined office of a centurion. Berenice, located on the Red Sea, was built by Emperor Tiberius after the annexation of Egypt by Rome. The discovered papyri contained letters from centurions with the names Chaosus, Licinius, and Petronius. In one of the letters, Petronius asked Licinius about the prices of exclusive goods and instructs them to be sent with legionaries on camels. These letters provide unique insight into the trade and daily life of the Roman military. Artifacts found alongside the papyri include Roman coins, brooches and pottery from Italy, the Mediterranean, Africa and India, demonstrating Berenice's importance as a trading port. The papyri were found on the western outskirts of Berenice in a unique zoological cemetery, where numerous islands were also found, fragments of texts and ceramics. These finds shed light on the presence of Roman legionaries in Egypt and the importance of Berenice in the ancient Roman trade network. Ruins of an American hospital in France Archaeologists have discovered the ruins of an American military hospital in Genere de Tertre, the commune of Savenet in northwestern France. This medical facility was built to prevent American soldiers from being dependent on French hospitals. During World War I, several hundred of these hospitals were built across the country, ranging from field hospitals to large complexes, capable of treating up to 25,000 wounded and sick. The excavations found medical vials, combs, buttons, a smoking pipe, a medical clip, a razor, a watch case, cups and shoes. These artifacts provide insight into daily life in the hospital. The hospitals were strategically located near the ports of Nantes and Saint-Nazaire, close to the main railway lines. American hospital complexes function as self-contained cities, with their own sewerage and water supplies. Some even had their own railway connections. The excavation site was divided into two parts. One was a fenced area to protect the hospital, the other was 20 pits with construction waste and artifacts. If you want to learn more about ancient artifacts and events in our history, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and tell your friends about it. Thanks for your views. Bye, everyone!